Hey guys, welcome back to Matlock's Toy Room Reviews, and today I'm doing another Halo Reach figure. Um, this, of course, is the Skirmisher Miner from Series 2. A uh, pretty cool looking figure, of course, from the Halo Reach game. Haven't really heard a lot on this uh, species or whatever um, from the Covenant. Uh, at first, I thought they were Jekylls um, when I first started playing the game, but I don't think they are. I'm really not too sure though. I think they kind of look like the Jekylls just without the shield and they got like crazy feathers and stuff. I'm not sure if they're kind of supposed to be related to them or not. Here's a quick look at some of the other figures that were in series 2. Pretty cool. I got Cat and Carter from the series. It's very cool and this was made by uh, McFarlane in 2000. This is 11 but I think it was late 2010. And these were released. He comes with a uh, needle or rifle and a plasma grenade. It's very cool. So let's take a quick break. We'll get him out of the package. All right, guys, and we're back with the skirmisher miner. A very cool looking figure. Um, yeah, <clears throat> as far as the Halo series goes, I've really just been trying to get kind of you know one of every species and stuff. I've only got like like I think I've got like two elites and you know two grunts or something, but. Just trying to get a little bit of everything because I don't have enough money to go splurge on everything. But uh, I've been watching a, a Thuris's videos, and damn it, man, you're really making me want to get some uh, more of these guys. But uh, <laughs> first off, his uh, needler rifle can't remember the name. For some reason, it's been a couple months since I played the game, so uh, of course, my short term memory. But very cool, it's got the little. Uh, peg that you can plug in so it sticks into his back or whatever. The only problem with this thing is it's kind of a softer rubber, which I think is kind of odd. Most of the guns are pretty, you know, plasticky, but this one's kind of softer. I mean, it really doesn't hurt anything. It's just kind of weird. And he does come with a, a small plasma grenade. Uh, you can see the hole there. There's what the peg plugs in. Um, doesn't come with a peg, which is kind of weird because... Uh, most of the ones that don't come with pegs are for the Spartans, and they have these little pegs on their back. Um, so basically, you can't really do anything with this grenade. I, mean, I guess it'll fit in his hand, maybe. A little bit. It's better when the pegs are in there. Um, a very cool looking figure. Um, one complaint, of course, is he's super hard to stand. Um, anybody who's had a figure with legs like this knows how hard it is to pose them up. Um, they look super cool, but just balancing the weight is just really hard to do. Um, it takes quite a bit of time just to put them in a cool pose. Um, but uh, I think this is probably one of my favorite Halo Reach figures. Um, the sculpt in this guy is just awesome. You can see his face, inside his mouth. This looks badass. Of course, his feathers look really good. And this is true McFarlane style work here. Uh, some of the Halo Reach stuff I've seen, the paint is just really shoddy. And there's just some crap, but this one's actually really nice. See the armor looks just slick. I like the way that looks. That looks cool. He's got some more like feathers on his arm. And the feathers are kind of a softer rubber too. Just a very badass looking figure. He's not real tall. Um, He's, you know, standing with his knees bent and stuff, but he's at six inches tall. I mean, which is in scale with all the other figures, so it's a good scale. Fits right. Um, weapons, of course, are impossible on these figures. Um, most of them have, you know, just a crazy formed hand like this. Um, Spartans, Elites, everybody has, they're kind of almost closed. I mean, you can barely do anything, and they're really hard um, to pry apart. And you can just almost barely even put the weapons in their hands, um, which is a big complaint on these. Uh, the detail on this guy is just sick. Um, as far as articulation, uh, it's actually really nice. He's got a swivel there at the neck, if you see that. He does have an up and down ball joint, or hinge joint. Very cool. Um, ball jointed shoulders. He has a swivel at the bicep. A uh, single jointed elbow. A swivel at the forearm and kind of a ball joint at the wrist, which is pretty cool. It's back and forward, swivels around, very nice. Um, 
torso joint. He kind of turns a little bit. It really doesn't do anything at all. Kind of useless. Unless mine's stuck. Yeah, I guess it goes back a little bit, but you can see there's just almost this big ball right there that doesn't move too well. Um, he does have ball jointed hips. A swivel at the thigh, but I think it's armor plate. No, nope. yeah, he does swivel at the thigh. That's cool. Um, he has that, uh, it's almost a ball joint at the knee. It swivels around and goes back and forward. And uh, that back joint does not move, which is kind of unfortunate. But uh, hear that banging. That's my son upstairs in the bathtub. The bathtub's like right above me, so he's up there banging on it. <laughs> um, a back and forward pivot in the foot, and it does kind of swivel. It's very cool. Of course, I won't be able to stand this guy up again. So, uh, pain in the ass. You guys can just see that. Let's see if I can show you. For any of you guys who haven't had a figure like this, just impossible to stand it. It's possible, of course, it just takes forever. But the balance and the weight is really hard. You gotta you know, lean them back pretty good to get them to, to stand on it. Um, but definitely a badass figure to pick up. Like I said, I'd be curious to know if these guys are supposed to be related to the Jackals or not. Um, but yeah, definitely an awesome figure to pick up. I'd definitely advise getting it if you're a Halo fan. Um, anyways, that was the Skirmisher Miner. Thanks for checking it out.